Good evening, I'm Linda Muma with the Stanislaus County Office of Emergency Services with tonight's COVID-19 community update. Now the latest number of cases are going to be included in the caption of the social media post, but you can also find that information on our website, stanemergency.com. That's where you can get some of the specifics like cases per city, as well as the number of hospitalizations. So I encourage you to visit the website. I also wanted to take this time to answer some of the questions that we've been receiving over the last couple of days, in particular, in regards to our revisions to the public health order, the county public health order, which took effect Friday morning at 5 a.m. We've been getting a lot of questions regarding this. One of the, the biggest questions is how can county parks reopen when the state is under uh, a stay-at-home order? Well, the answer to that question is the California stay-at-home order does allow for parks to reopen, but it does leave it up to individual counties and individual cities to make that determination based on the information that they have available to them in their specific areas. Now this week, Stanislaus County revised its public health order to allow for a limited reopening of playground structures, sport courts, dog parks, fishing areas and county waterways for the purpose of boating and watercraft use. And these are all areas managed by the County Parks and Recreation Department. And while the new order does allow for city parks to also partially reopen, every city is making its own decisions based on staffing levels and other factors. So while county parks may be partially reopening, city parks may not be. If you are interested in visiting a city park, it's best to check with your city's Park and Recreation Department to find out whether it has reopened or partially reopened. Another question that we're getting from the community is what exactly is open at county parks? When I talked with Stanislaus County Parks and Recreation Director Jacqueline Dwyer on Thursday, she says that the parks are still closed to large gatherings, but says you and your immediate family can shoot hoops. You can also play a round of tennis or toss a football or frisbee around as long as it's with people within your own immediate family and you aren't sharing any equipment with anyone outside your immediate family. That's also why some golf courses are choosing to reopen to two player groups only without the use of golf carts or rental equipment. And this is to prevent people from intermingling or interacting, which could potentially lead to a community spread of coronavirus. Dwyer also says that if you do choose to go to a park to continue practicing social distancing measures and frequent hand washing, especially when allowing your children to use playground equipment because she says the equipment is not being sanitized and bathrooms are cleaned about twice a week. Another question we've been getting from the community is when will the reservoirs reopen? This has popped up several times over the course of the week. And this question was actually addressed by Sheriff Jeff Dirksy in our Wednesday evening live Facebook Q&A. On Wednesday, Sheriff Dirksy explained that deputies are that are usually assigned to our reservoirs were actually shifted over to help patrol. So right now it's an issue of staffing, but he said he expects to reopen open reservoirs within about a few weeks. Now, I wanted to explain the idea or the concept behind some of these revisions. It is to give you and your family an option to get outdoors, to get some fresh air and to get some exercise after being inside for more than a month under California's stay at home order, especially as the weather is warming up as we head into the spring and summer months. If you live within city limits, I encourage you to visit your city's website, parks and recreation page or social media channels to determine whether the park nearest you is open. I also encourage you to tune into our Wednesday live Facebook Q&As. That is a fantastic opportunity to ask questions and get answers to your questions as well as other updates on Wednesday nights. And we do our best to answer your questions. If we don't get to them, since it is a limited time, we will answer them throughout the week as well. In the meantime, if you can take a walk or a bike ride in your neighborhood or around the block, I encourage you to do so as the weather is beautiful this weekend. So enjoy the weather out there and we'll see you again tomorrow night at six o'clock.